Yo hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can make a music visualizer you saw in the beginning and yeah, let's get right into it. So you start off by making your composition and uh, I have FHD and uh, with 24 FPS and you start off by importing your song. So yeah, after you have imported your song you're just gonna make a solid layer just like this and then you're going to add audio spectrum so now we get this audio spectrum here and you're going to choose the audio layer which is your song so now you can see the audio layer is like reacting to the to the song it's like this so yeah you can see guys that the lines here or whatever is reacting to the the song and uh, i just noticed this now this effect is heavy <laughs> my my effects have been like crashing like five times just by using this so yeah Okay, yeah so moving on so now we're going to fix some things here in the audio spectrum and uh, i start off by this is basically the hertz okay so we're starting by zero to like a thousand looks the best in my opinion and then i like to turn this up to like 1500 something like that okay so yeah so it looks something like this and uh, moving on to the maximum height i like to have this at a thousand the milliseconds to 60 and we can change the colors to maybe something like blue and pink and then i like to mix some of this hue like some rainbow colors are going to react to the song as well just one lap just like that now uh, i'm going to change this to side b okay it looks weird now but you will get what i mean later so now to make it this uh, like a circle now we're going to add polar coordinates you gonna turn this on to 100 percent and then change it to rec to polar then it will make a circle and you can see the gap here to fix that we're ju just gonna fix the starting point to zero and then the other starting point do something like that yeah perfect now it's a full circle and now uh, so after that i, I, I kind of like to make this like a lead type of style so we're just gonna I'm going to add ball action okay so yeah when you have added uh, ball action you can <laughs> you can change the ball size <laughs> whoa wow to 75 and uh, the grid spacing to one so it looks something like this then we can add a glow on this so i just added a deep glow yeah something like that looks pretty good in my opinion and then i want to have my logo in here so i'm just gonna import my logo just like that then scale this down and change this to uh, lighten a little better so the name fits like perfectly in the circle something like this yeah and now we're going to mask this so just take your mask masking tool and then So yeah, something like this. And now uh, I like to drag this uh, this one under the, the whole thing here. So I make this lighten as well. Now we are going to add some effects to our logo, which are going to be a wave war to make it even more like interesting. I like to try this at one and the width to a hundred. Yeah, something like this. And then I'm going to add ball action again. And uh, you just copy the same effect from before and then paste it to your profile picture and then change the this grid spacing to three and the ball size to 100 this needs to stop now and then we could add a glow again so deep glow yeah something like this and the last thing we're going to do to spice it up a little bit more is to add a overlay so you just drag in you can just find overlays on youtube if you don't have one and uh, just copy the settings here deep glow setting and the ball action setting from the audio spectrum we're going to add deep glow to it uh you can still like see the overlay it depends on on your profile picture but you can still see the overlay behind your profile picture and how to fix that is to take the mask you had on your pro profile picture copy it okay so you paste the mask on this layer and then then we change this mask expansion so it fills up Okay, so this was basically it for the tutorial. If you guys want to see some more tutorials, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any new ideas or things you want want me to make tutorials on, uh, comment that down below. And yeah, have a great day, guys. See ya.